So for about a year, I've been running a home media server. I've been running my home server with a Dell Optiplex with an external hard drive attached to it. I haven't been using it for anything crazy, mostly just to serve as a media player for all of my movies and TV shows that I have. When we moved into our new house, I wanted to kind of declutter my desk a little bit. I also recently purchased a Steam Deck and thought, man, it'd be really nice to have something in the living room that I could play these old retro games on instead of just my handheld. From there, the wheels started turning and I thought, why don't I just take this old hard drive out of its caddy and put it in my gaming PC? I'm gonna walk you through how I downsized my home server to just be a part of my gaming PC that also doubles as my Jellyfin server. The case that I'm working with for my gaming PC is an NZXT H1. Inside here, there's a caddy for two two and a half inch drives. With that removed, I can fit the full three and a half inch hard drive in there. And so there's plenty of room for it and it's a relatively easy install. Getting inside of this machine is really easy. It's just a matter of taking off the front panel and the back panel and then the side panels. Once I got inside, there are two thumb screws that I loosened so I could release my GPU. Once I got those thumb screws out, I just pressed down the little gray tab on the riser and just slowly wiggled out the GPU from there. If you wanna do this at home, do better than me and unplug the power to the graphics card before you remove it from the riser. From there, I just popped the cover off that is hiding all of the extra cables and the caddy that the two and a half inch drives will sit in. Removing the caddy is fairly simple. You're gonna remove two Phillips head screws from the side of the panel. Depending on the size of your GPU, you might not need to even remove it. Since my GPU is very large, I had to remove it to get to them. Once the screws were removed, it was really easy to slide the drive caddy right out. Here we come to a stopping point with the gaming PC. Now's the part where we have to take apart the Optiplex. There's not really much we have to take apart on the computer itself, more of the hard drive enclosure that it was in. It was pretty simple to get out the hard drive. I had popped off the cover previously to give it some better airflow. Once I got the drive out of the case, I just had to remove three screws on the bottom to remove the SATA controller. After that, I took off the four rubber feet on either side of the drive as well. From there, I went ahead and mounted the drive inside of the old caddy space. It was a little difficult at first to get the holes to line up where I was mounting the drive. Once I got the drive secured, I attached one of the SATA power cords coming off of my power supply. From there, I grabbed one of the two SATA cables that came with my PC. In order for me to attach the SATA cable, I had to remove the cover for the radiator. With my case, it's just two screws and the radiator and the radiator fan just fall over. From there, I ran the straight edge of the SATA cable through the wires and into the main area where the motherboard was. So that way I wasn't trying to force the right angle end through all the cables. Once I got it through, I just attached it to one of the two SATA ports on the motherboard. After that, I plugged in the other end of the SATA cable to the drive. Now that we got everything installed, it's just a matter of putting everything back together and making sure it turns on. All right, everyone, here comes the moment of truth. Just put everything back together, got it all plugged in. Let's see if it turns on. Good signs all around. I hear the hard drive spin. So now that we have everything put back together, I'm gonna to show you how I installed Jellyfin on my PC and how I got everything set up from there. I'm running the Linux distribution Bazite on my PC. It's basically like SteamOS for the Steam Deck, but on a desktop. I don't get the cool big picture mode where it looks like a Steam Deck because I have an NVIDIA GPU. Hopefully one day, that'd be pretty cool. So it's pretty simple to install Jellyfin on here. I'm gonna navigate over to the Discover Store right here. Click on that. Then from here, I'm just gonna type in Jellyfin in the search bar. Then I'm gonna hit search. I already have it installed. I don't know why it's not showing that it's installed here, but you're just gonna install Jellyfin Server. From there, you're gonna open up the web browser of your choice. I'm gonna be using Firefox. Once you're in there, 
all you need to type in the address bar is localhost colon 8096. 8096 is the port number that Jellyfin lives on. As you can see, I already have it set up, so it's gonna not walk me through the setup process, but it's gonna walk you through a very simple process to set up everything. You can organize things like I have. I have them in movies and shows. Then over here, we have it set up for collections to show you the different movies that you have that might be in a series or whatnot. Now that I got that set up, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the Dell Optiplex. My goal for that is to turn it into a little retro console, have it in the living room so I can play some games on the big TV. If you're interested in seeing how I set all that up, definitely leave a comment down below. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.